Hello guys, I'm going to show you how you are going to render a website exactly like this. Um, the front end of the website is a chat website and uh, I'll show you the whole process. So let me first show you how the website looks like. Um, events, uh, we have news update, we have galleries and so on. So we have home. I did not code this website but I bought the source code from somewhere that's why I decided to use it uh, to demonstrate on you how I I I rendered it using um, my SQL um, ZAMB now this is that main and we have uh, add users so this is how the website looks like and uh, you don't need to know coding for you to manage to render a website like this. You just need the basics of PHP. And here are the source code. Here's MySQLi. Then here's the source code. This is just a quick demonstration, then we will go through. I am assuming you have already downloaded Jump, a local server, and you have already installed. So the first thing you need to do is just start up your local server, that is Jump. Start the Apache and also start my SQLite. Okay, mine is up and running. As you can see, uh, it is highlighted with wins, and which mean, which means everything is good. Now, you need to access the HTT dogs, HT dogs. So click the Explorer, then look for HT dogs. So this is where you are going to paste your PHP web template. Now, it is not necessarily for you only to access um, HT docs via this explorer you can also call the long method click uh, this PC then local disk C I'm assuming you're using Windows now click ZAMP then HT docs so this is where we are going to paste our PHP web template for rendering I had uh, where is my project so I bought a template from somewhere and I'm reselling it at a cheaper price at just five dollars for demonstration purpose. You can have access to this template. So my template is called native, it has the administration, it has the database, and the database is my scale, which means we are going to create a database and name it. Um, okay, sorry. So, copy this project inside the HT docs. So, HT docs, I will have to paste it. Let us give it some time for it to finish copying. Oops, I had already co copied. I'll just say replace. Now, the next thing we have to create a database for our project. Now, click the native, look for database, and here is my, our SQL that we will upload in our database. So open it. Let me open it uh, via VS Code. So database. Okay, database. So 
So our database name is data is uh, Hillsoft Reel. Now create a database with this name. I'll have to copy it. Go to your exam, click admin. You see my my SQL then admin. And here it is. Now click new. So paste your name. Let me paste this name here, the, our database name, click create. Now we have created our database. So the next thing is to import our SQLI. So click import. Give it some time to load. Choose file. It is located in ZAMP, HD Docs, Native, then Database. So click here, then upload. Then click import. So it has been imported successful. Let us test it to see how it is running. So open your Chrome, then click localhost, native, let's localhost native. We are good to go. Localhost. And native then admin index.php click so our database is also up and running thank you for watching please make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and share it widely so that someone else can get this knowledge you can have access to this template at just five dollars we will have this beautiful website and you can render and even resell it if you have customers thank you and see you in the next tutorial